let us open the box. Hi, I'm Alex. Uh, I play bass for Don't Worry. My name's Ronan. I sing and play the guitar in the band Don't Worry. Uh, I'm Sam. I sing and play guitar in Don't Worry also. Uh, I'm Grace. I'm in OK Bye, play guitar, but um, I bought my first ever picks a year ago because before then I just stole them off other people, mainly Tom. So I'm looking forward to trying out some uh, little treats. OK. In you wow, go. look at that. Wow. I just want to touch it. Oh, I mean, right. I'm going to go for this nice... Oh, this is great. I mean, it looks like a doorstop, but it feels fantastic. So it's like more surface area. Please. Made up of the velvet of the carpet. That was unbelievably easy to play with. Like, really? I can't believe that one can play the guitar with this. Oh, no. oh, thank you, mate. Cheers. I don't know what this spell is, is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's their own material. It's called Infinix. Like, it's got two um, different things. Oh, the switch pick. Switch pick is made by uh, a dude called Paul and his son, and he's actually a helicopter engineer, but they're, they live up in Somerset. I love this. Yeah. That is a Plex. Uh, he is uh, it's a guy called Pedro from, he's actually a Brazilian architect, but he lives in uh, Italy. So we've got, we got Plex in there. Let me get my Dragon. Wow. So that's Dragon Picks, that's made of Juma, which is an acrylic resin cross. That's super nice. And we've got a switch pick over here. Oh yeah. It's a few things Ooh, anyway. that that do oh, This is made by the same company as that red one yep. that you gave me. Uh, does it? Does this also do the thing where it changes its shape and then reverts back to the same shape? It's the same material, but it shouldn't do that because it's a little thicker. Okay, uh, that was really interesting. Yeah. So this is, to me, this sounds a lot brighter than the Delrin. Yeah. You definitely get more actual pick sound. Yeah, that's true. Um, but not in a bad way, like if you're recording yeah. an acoustic guitar for... It sounds great, you know, that's going to come through on a record fantastically. You're right, when you when you hit the strings it just feels kind of like the pick is melting or, yeah. or scratching really badly, but then you look and it isn't, you know? Well, the whole idea with this, the big misnomer that people have is that if you get heavier picks, it's so you can go in even harder. Mm. The whole point is so that you don't have to play as hard. So if yeah. you're playing yeah. for like, if you're used to like yeah. playing loads of or like really hard chord work, Going heavier means that you don't you don't have to thrash it, so there's much more relaxation in your wrist, and so you're not having to push through as much. I guess, yeah. like yeah. I think, I think I'm right in saying this. You have picked up the plet the plethora, which is made from corn. From what? Corn. Corn. We were just yeah. talking about corn yesterday. It's, it's 3D printed <laughs> corn made. Wow. <laughs> oh yeah, you found the. This is really cool though, because like obviously <laughs> I would usually go for something that's this thick. But yeah. It, the material it's made out of is just so that's, bendy. That's rubber. Yeah, like, it's, okay, amazing. And you stock a lot of these on your website for people to buy? Uh, there's, uh, I do 13, 13 brands on the website just now, and then right. there's another eight going up on Monday, including wow. Gravity. I bet some of the, these kind of brands are happy that you're doing that as well. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, the, the, the biggest, like I said earlier on, the biggest thing is that people don't get a chance to try them. What have you got? Oh, you're going back I'm to I'm going the... back to that, yeah, because I do <laughs> really... I've obviously noticed in the past, like, I just slip all over the place. Right? Yeah. I mean, like, I really like the grip on these. It's really, really cool. Next ah, one's that's another, So you know the blue one you had earlier on? Yeah. And you were going, oh, it's super nice. Same, same, same one. So okay. that's Howling Monkey out in New York, Rochester, New York. Oh, yeah, he, this one. He makes his picks out of um, Tagore, which is vegetable ivory. Oh. So that's used, that material's used as a replacement for ivory and jewelry. Because it looks the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like this. It's one of my favourite, especially for acoustics, one of my favourite yeah. I might have a go on the acoustic video. Please. All of them, without exception, have some, I mean, you could, right, so you, just to show you, look how sweaty my hands are. That is a very damp time. Yeah, uh, it's quite warm in here, but just playing guitar and just general anxiety makes my hands sweaty. So every single one of the picks I've chosen has got, without fail, additional grip onto it. So I don't know who this is. This is Howling Monkey. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Clifford Essex, so that's made of horn. That's a D'Andrea um, something. 
Can't remember what that model that is. And that's a Plex. All similar, like the Howling Monkey stuff is all similar enough that when I like one, I can I can pick any of them up and play them. Like, oh yeah, all of these are reasonable plectrums, mm -hmm. but they're also different enough that they can justify to exist. You know, there's not like four where I'm like, well, I don't I don't even know. I couldn't tell you all the differences. Yeah. Um, which is really nice because if you want a sharp sound or a softer sound or whatever, you can still have a different pick without changing the way you play. It's like for me, if I'm I, I do mostly recordings. If I'm recording and I'm playing with a certain pick for a part, I don't want to then have to like relearn to use a different pick. It's nice to just use the same pick but have a different sound. Like if I want a different sound but I want to use the same pick, I feel like, you know, I could have a box of howling monkeys there and it would all for me to play it they would feel similar but for the sound would be different. Yeah. Well you guys are just so deep in it. Hardly yeah, a word yeah, coming out. Down around it. It's just guitar, it's just yeah. cycling around the whole thing. <laughs> I really like using that chunky one, but mm -hmm. I don't like, it's almost that I'm being limited to how much I can get out of the string, if you know what I mean. It's like too clean and like too soft. Do you mean in terms of digging in? Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's a bit mad yeah. to have a pick that's half an inch thick and be like, oh, I just feel like I can't pick hard enough. <laughs> it is, it feels like, like mental, it's, isn't it? It's like, yeah. it, but it's like it's a brick wall, like just stopping you from yeah. like, doing it, you know? It's full door. Just indulge me. No, no worries. Well, that feels like I'm holding like a saber tooth or something. I don't know. <laughs> that is a uh, twenty-five thousand year old piece of mammoth ivory. Okay, that's all the way here from Siberia. Wow. Okay. So relatively cheap to buy them. Well, if, you, if you've got a diet, it is, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you oh, found the attack there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, it's mental. That's so, the insane. acoustic attack, that's called the ambush. The idea behind these is that we raised bumpy bits. Yeah. When you play acoustic, well, when you play electric as well, when you play acoustic particularly, all of the wee bumpy bits hit the strings like second, like milliseconds yeah. after. And it gives you, if you play them acoustic, it sounds like it's like you're playing half a 12 string yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Told you. That's cool. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Lush. You do progress in the laser there. That's actually not a bad idea, yeah, mate. Not a bad well, I've got, I've got oh. a few of those, <laughs> so if you guys want to record them, I can just hang on to them. That would be great, man. That's, yeah. that's very yeah. kind of you, yeah. It's, these are, I was hoping somebody would mention it. I don't want to push it on anybody. <laughs> these are one of the best kept secrets in Pitkin. So these, these are called, uh, it's a company in Japan called Hell Guitars. Fantastic. And those are, they're called Hell Super Blacks. That does sound nice when you strum, doesn't it? Okay. Yeah. Good at all looking at it, <laughs> but it sounds great. Right, boss, let's start with you. What you got? Okay, so we got Hell, that's a Hell Super Black Triangle. We've got the uh, Howling Monkey, Monkey Triforce and a Wigan Triumus 250. I was playing this butt one for quite a long time, which I quite like, and I promise it's not just because it features a butt. And then I tried this one, which everyone's been enjoying this brand Howling Monkey, is Howling that right? Howling Monkey, that's yeah. the one. So you got a, that's a Howling Monkey standard there. We got the Anatomy of Sound mm -hmm. 3D, not called the buttocks, unfortunately. <laughs> and that's a Mean Tone JM. And then totally separately, we have the uh, the attack pick, don't we? For the acoustic yeah. guitar, which is fantastic. As you said, it kind of makes it sound a bit like a 12 string. Yourself. All right. Yeah, I started off, I was kind of intrigued by these Dava, is it? Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I really like this is the Assetti, is it? Yeah. 
Like again, that's just like because of the fun groove in there. It's got a really nice grip, but it also sounds really nice like uh, for picking parts. Like if I was playing chords, I'd probably want something a bit, that's a two millimeter, I think. Mm. I'd probably want something a bit, a bit thinner, but I really, really like that. What have you guys got for me? Uh, my, I liked these. It's purely based on how they felt to play, but I think a thicker pick, because I'm not a great guitarist, <laughs> I think they kind of stop me just mashing so hard and they make me think about what I'm doing. So that's a, another Howling Monkey and a set, another, a, another a a setting, setting, right? Yeah. And then you get the old hands, which is this one here. Which is beautiful. Which is absolutely going to yeah. be like someone's yeah. favourite pick. So yeah, I also liked the Howling Monkeys. I went for quite a big one of theirs, but with a kind of softer tip. I tend to be in the majority more of a more of a cowboy chords kind of guy. Um, but this one still had the definition to playing those notes. Now I've had the, the great privilege of delving very, dipping my toes into this world a little bit. Right. So, massive amount of, I'll oh, get it in focus first, I can't yeah. Idea. yeah, nice family photograph. <laughs> okay. So, massive, massive thanks to Don't Worry and OK Bye for all of your time and understanding this evening and your adventure into the Plectroverse. Big, big thanks. Just give a big, big wave to everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. for sure. Yeah. And I'll leave links to all everybody's stuff. Sweet. video and everything so thank you very much for your time thank you thank you it's been amazing it's been amazing yeah, it's been amazing. yeah. yeah. Amazing. really good excellent cheers, cheers. Bye, mate. Thanks,